149 people have been arrested as part of a new Interpol-led operation targeting the illicit trafficking of weapons from countries in Eastern Europe and the Balkans. 321 firearms, including a rocket launcher and a machine gun, have been seized. 49 arrests are related directly to firearms offences. 20,000 pieces of ammunition were taken across a 48-hour period from the 6th to the 8th of April. Almost 8,000 officers were involved across the 23 participating countries. The result isn't only number of checks, number of arrested persons, number, number of seized items and so on. In this way, using synchronized police actions in the same time in different countries, we send a clear message to the criminals. The police officers from different countries around the world work together against the crime. Firearms databases cited at the Interpol headquarters in Lyon in France allowed information and data to be examined and exchanged. Nearly every recovered firearm comes from someplace else. So a country may enact strict firearms legislation, but it still cannot control what happens in other countries. So as firearms are moving throughout the continent of Europe, the danger for citizens is that firearms coming from sometimes 500 or 1,000 kilometers away can affect the safety that they've come to know in their own community. With increased concerns over terrorism and the trafficking of illicit weapons, establishing a stronger police network in the field to break down the flow is a key aim of Operation Trigger 2. Uh -huh.